Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning. There we Welcome go. Welcome to Bagels and Locks. My name is Max the Animal, and this is my partner, Nikki Snacks. As always, we will be joining you every Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time to be giving you our best bets for this NFL weekend's games. Yeah. That's what we're How defeated can one man be? <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Cut. Do it again. One minute, 37 seconds later. Come on. I'm it's just... a long season. Speaking of which, we figured out the punishment, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to do a photo shoot. The loser is going, is going to do a photo shoot with the opposing team's jersey. So if he loses, he wears a Giants jersey. If I lose, I wear a Broncos jersey. We're going to do a photo shoot, a calendar shoot. It's going to be a calendar. We will sell them. You can have them in your rooms and everything. That's exactly what we're going to do. It's not. I already, I already decided that's what we're going to do. No one's going to buy it. and I'm not No one probably will buy it. Nobody should calendar. buy it, but we're still going to do it. We're going to put all the pictures up. On BDG.com, on Patreon, on YouTube, everything. We will have them all, and that's what we're going to do. Cool. My record's uh, like 4 and 11. I don't Mine's 13 and 2. Is that what I am? 4 and 11? 5 and 0 on Big Locks, by the I'm, way. I'm honestly, so for as upset as I am about my record, I am genuinely, genuinely happy for my buddy here. 13 and 2 is, is, is fucking incredible. That's, that's, that's. I can have. I can afford two zero and two zero and threes. Yeah, if you have been betting ten thousand dollars on each of his bets, that's you're up nine grand, ten grand. What's it, eleven grand? You're up eleven grand. Yeah, a little juice that you lose, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I. Uh, so bad at it, It's uh, honestly, we we we've been talking about it like before we record fade the public, and this is ridiculous. Yeah. It's a ridiculous run. And speaking of ridiculous runs, here comes. My turnaround week, 3-0, and here we go. First pick, Houston at Kansas City. Listen, Kansas City is at home, minus four. We're at Arrowhead. Kansas City is going to, the only reason this line is minus four is because they lost to the Colts last week. So let's, yeah. Why are you shaking your head? I didn't shake my head. I was you, just, you, I, you, I, had, I, a, you I had was, a look. I was thinking, go ahead. You had a look and I didn't like it. Should I change this pick? Should I go Houston? Should I go Houston plus four? No, I like KC. Go. KC? All right. We're going Kansas City minus four at home at Arrowhood. This should be minus seven. I have a system. <laughs> I have a plan. It should have been minus seven. It's actually minus four. Take it minus four. Run with it. Cash it. Go to the bank. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like a crazy person right now. I don't even know like if this is... Should I go Houston? No. All right. We'll go no. Kansas City minus go, four. That's final. To... That's final. I don't think I've ever heard somebody more it's defeated final. in my life. <laughs> you usually have good facts, everything to back it up. <laughs> the only reason they're going to cover is because they lost. Oh, my God in heaven. <laughs> um, I don't have a very big stomach, but it hurts from laughing so much right now. Animal, I love you, and and you are you are the reason that this show lives. My first pick of the day, I'm going with Jacksonville minus one. Um, the Saints are coming on the road to Jacksonville. It's going to be hot there, not like it's not hot in the Superdome. It doesn't matter. Saints have been playing very well, so you're asking me, Snacks, why are you taking Jacksonville? Well, it's simple, because the line is skewed. Why are Jacksonville minus one when they're the far inferior team to the Saints? I don't know. Vegas probably knows. That's why I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on that Jack Jaguars bandwagon and Gardner Minshew, baby. Guys got all the tools. They're playing well. They they lost they lost a, a brutal game to Carolina. They could have won that game, but they're putting up points. I don't I don't fully trust Teddy Bridgewater yet. I'm gonna go with the mustache man. I'm gonna go with Tom Coughlin, the greatest coach in NFL history, and I'm gonna take the Jaguars. Minus one, lock it in, Snacks' first bet. 
All right. Yeah, I see this. I'm glad I tuned in at the end of that because I didn't know who you picked until you said it right Well, the, the, the first thing I said was I'm taking Jaguars minus one. Dude, I was... That's literally the first thing I said. In my own fucking world. I know. I can Anyway, tell. my second pick... It's the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Chargers in Los Angeles. But what we're doing is we're taking the under. It's 41 and a half. Devlin Hodges, the third string quarterback, is going to be playing for the Steelers. It's official. Oh! It's official. Devlin Hodges. Devlin with a VL. Yeah, it's not Devin. Yeah, Vlin. Right? So he's playing. Mason Rudolph's not. Going to be probably a low scoring game, right? Because the, 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 the Chargers offense sucks. We saw it last week. They couldn't score points against the Denver Stout defense. And then Marquise Pouncey's down. Who else is down? The, their whole team's down. They're down. They're the down. Char- the char- the Chargers down. are hurting. Down, under. Take the under. Let's go. Chargers, Pittsburgh, under. 41 and a half, under. Under. Uh, well, you know you what? Well, that's rude. <laughs> it's not. Is it a stat? It's a stat. It's a stat. I'm bringing up a stat. It's a stat. Relax, because it's up to my next bet. I'm sorry. When you're 13 and two, you have a little leeway. I was not being rude. I actually loved that pick a lot. I, I could see that game being like 13 three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, easily. Because the Steelers do still have a good defense. They just have no offense. And the only way they can stay in games is if they play defense. Yep. So I like that bet, Animal. I really do. And I've said I like all your bets, and they haven't won. So I don't know uh, what you're saying. But 18 two and two. Over their last 22 non-divisional games at home are the Minnesota Vikings. Where are the Minnesota Vikings playing this week? They're playing at home in Minnesota. Thank you, dumb f***. And they're playing a non-divisional opponent, the Philadelphia Eagles, whose secondary is so banged up. Last week, Kirk Cousins torched my Giants. Not saying much. Really isn't. Dalvin Cook is running like a wild man. I think Minnesota... I think they win handily. I do. I think this is one of those games where Minnesota just puts the blueprint out and they beat the ever-living piss out of the Eagles. Maybe not the piss, but they win by at least four. I'm taking them minus three. I like I like what I seen from Kirk last game, all by it against a miserable Giants defense. Their Eagles linebacker just called him out today. He goes, well, let's make Kirk Cousins throw the football. Well, did you see Kirk also said that he likes to... He wants to perform under pressure. He plays better that way. Yeah, and I want black hair and I want to be seven foot tall. Neither which are going to happen. There. Neither which are going to happen. <laughs> but I'm going to take Kirk Cousins at home. I'm going to take Dalvin Cook in the running game against a banged up Eagles secondary. An offensive line that has not played as well as they should be right now. I'm going to take Minnesota minus three. My second bet of the week. All right. All right. Not yeah. bad. No, it's not bad. And not you know bad. what? What? Oh, I think we got a big dog listener that wants to, to make a bet. <clears throat> yeah, let's go to our a big dog pick of the week. Good morning, Snacks and Animal. How you guys doing this Sunday morning? It's your boy Aaron here with the big dog's pick of the week. My pick this week is New Orleans Saints plus one and a half against the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's a bit of a homer pick, but at the same time, it's a very favorable matchup for the New Orleans Saints. We're currently 3-0 and without Drew Brees, and we're playing great football on all sides of the ball. If it's an offensive shootout, I don't see Jacksonville winning. And if it's a defensive game, Jacksonville has no shot. I'm going to go ahead and send it over to you guys. Nikki, keep up the great picks as always. Max, this is your week to go 3-0, and brother. I believe in you. Take care, guys. All right. Wow, thank you, Aaron. Wow. Wow, that's a, that's going, an interesting Going against pick. the Snackster. Yeah, really. I, we, well, I mean, you obviously think you're going to win. So I do. I, I, I like he, he, he's got the hook. Mm-hmm. He his book told him a little bit differently. It happens. That, that's it common. does. It does. And, uh, there. and you know what? With my Jaguars pick, worst case, just take the money line so you don't get the push. But Aaron, I respect it. You know, Saints are a good team, so I, I'm not going to get too mad about what are, it. What's the big dog record, by the way? Oh, they're opposite of. Well, Yannick is three and zero. Oh. George is three and one. Cody's three and two. Sexy Pats is four and two, and. The other guy was five and two. Five and two. Five and two. Five and two. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. I'll take that. Big dogs doing send them in, guys. Come on, please. We're we're getting we're getting plenty of them. You guys are coming in. First come, first serve. Send them in. Please send your your big dog picks of the week to bagelslocks at gmail.com. That's bagelslocks at gmail.com. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh! Oh, you hear that? Do you hear that sound? You hear it. You hear it. It is time 
for the big motherfucker. <sighs> you get weaker from last week. You go three and zero. You get weaker. I go one two and I get stronger. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, look at this destruction. Woo. All right, I'm going to need this carbs I have a stat on here. And I'm going to do this, too. I'm going to put this on. You see this? This is a wide receiver glove. I've had them here for three weeks now. Oh, I mean to Jesus. put them on. Keep forgetting. I'm going to I'm gonna put it on, so I'm going to catch a W. You see this? I'm catching a W. I'm not going to be eating them. Not done. I'm catching it. Catching the W. And how am I doing that? Because my big lock is the... Los Angeles Rams at home, minus three against the San Francisco 49ers. Sean McVay is 8-1-1 one one against the spread when he's been given more time to prepare to prepare for games. That includes week 10 days one. Rest, yeah. That includes Thursday games. That includes Monday Night Football. It's a good step. They played on Thursday night. It's a good step. Right? They it's did. They throw the ball a lot, too. And they're going to do that again. Robert Woods, big night. Sneaky fancy play for all you people out there. Just saying, if it's Robert Woods. Right. Brandon Cooks too. Nah, f Brandon Cooks. Robert Woods weak, but also Rams weak. Minus three. Read the stat. Oh, that's all I have left. Just read the stat. <laughs> that's it. That's well, 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 when you're four and eleven, you don't have much more stats after that. But you know what? I I like it. That was a very good stat. And you know what? Regardless of when it loses, if if and 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 when it loses, um, you know what? F it. I'm gonna take a glove. Let's catch some my, my, yeah, let's 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 catch a W together, huh? Yeah. Let's both go three now. F it. Let's That's go, right. animal. Let's do it. So, five and zero on big locks this year. Thirteen and 0, 13 and two overall. I got a lot of pressure. I know there's a lot of people out there counting on me. It's not a good feeling. I get DMs. I get over fucking four thousand a week. Who's your pick this week? My pick this week plays in green. Not this green. This is fucking hideous. Why do you have this glove? I think they were at Marshall. Either way, Aaron Rodgers versus the Detroit Lions, it just buries him. So how are you going to tell me that they're only a four-point favorite at home against the Detroit Lions team with Matthew Stafford in a prime time game? Is tell him, Snacksy. He's going to compete with Aaron Rodgers without Devontae Adams. Oh, that's what. Devontae Adams is three points off the spread. Yeah, I forgot. Tell him, baby. Grizzly Adams had a f***ing beard. Never Ooh, forget he did. that, okay? Yeah, right. Grizzly Adams had a beard. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Grizzly Adams had a beard. Never forget that. I am taking Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers minus four Monday night football against the Detroit Lions. And I will preface by saying this. I like the Lions this year. I do. I think they're a well-surfaced team, a very underrated team. Don't worry team. about them coming off the bye week? A very, no, no, no. I hate teams coming off the bye. I think they, they're lackluster, everything. I thought that about the 49ers last week. The Packers came off a massive road win against the Cowboys. I think they come home to a raucous Lambeau field where everybody sitting in the seats is an owner of the team. They are going to be wild. They're going to be loud. They're going to be playing for sole possession of first place. And they're in first place, but they're going to be playing for even more sole possession. They want to bury the Lions. The Lions, Rodgers kills them every time. Minus four, big lock of the week. Nikki Snacks, 13 and two. Green Bay Packers, minus four. Monday night, Detroit Lions. Matt Patricia, piece of shit. Shave your beard. You don't look like a head coach. Minus four, Green Bay Packers, big lock of the week. Boom. There you have it. There you go. That's it. That's it. Come back next week, every Sunday, 8.30 a.m. Bagels and locks, baby. Bagels and locks. <laughs>